Oh yeah, COVID restrictions. Christopher Crook is just saying it's not valid or that something he can recognise. He's an absolute terrorist. 
That's one document. Here's the criminal charges I wrote out on Chief Justice list, which was filed at the Commissioner's Office in... You've already done that? I filed it, but they don't do anything with it. That's the problem. Because the Commissioner is complicit in more than treason. I had it stamped at their office because the court stopped re rejecting my documents because they knew that everything I was putting into the court was stamped. The commissioner's filed that. I've got the original at home. I, I just went in there and I served it on the concierge there. So he's got that. Then there was another one we did in November um, 2020 where we all signed it as the assembly because we're all working it out. But, you know, like this. Yeah. yeah, so it's basically we all signed, all got together, we all go through, because I know the crimes act inside out pretty well, as best as I can try and get it as a label, because I'm just a layman. Yeah. And I've had to learn this stuff because I've seen that what's happening to the people. I'm going, there's so many good cops, you've got 90% good cops, and you've got 10%, excuse the word, but they're mongrels at the top. There's no legislation in this land. Every act they pass, including the coronavirus, so he was enough to use a second time, so I filed that. That's been sworn in. Have been filed as well? Yeah, he already. And served on him, but he, what can you do to him? Yeah. He just sits there and just keeps keep doing this to every court case. The people are getting slaughtered in the courts. Absolutely slaughtered. That, and if you look at section 80.1 of the Criminal Code, it says, uh, uh, sorry, the Crimes Act, section 3W, it says power of arrest of the constables without a warrant. That's what you guys need to do. Yep. You need to follow that crime. I'm just trying to show you the legislation because I know that they don't keep to the legislation where you come from and I see you're a senior fellow or you've been here for and you probably have time to examine it. But the younger generation don't and they need to know it because they're all getting tricked into legislation that's not valid. We love them. What's going to happen? Have you already put the copy of what Yeah, that's been filed into the Supreme Court. Okay. And what, what I'd like you to know, because last week, because we're trying to defend everybody, especially you guys. Could you, that, why do you think they strain for us? They've put them there before you know that the public's going to get angry at you people because the passing laws are not valid outside referendums. Why would you put this up here? I mean, well, it's meant to help and protect. Why do you need hang on, that? Yeah, hang on. But I'm just saying, like, so if I could, uh, anybody, police officer wants to come and have a look at how many phone calls I've made to the terrorism stuff because I've pulled them apart and just pulled yeah. them all apart. They're all threat and Masonic agents, right? And then and they go home at weekends. So if there's a terrorist strike on weekend, see the terrorists are them. Is the actual terrorist squad, which is uh, uh, Greg Charlton. He is not the head instigator, but he's definitely a puppet. Uh, and then you've got uh, Steve Denton, bad occultic, like whatever. He's got. Yeah, I know, but I'm telling you from my experience, I really have researched this. I've been flat out on it. They're dirty. You guys aren't dirty. They've been passing acts to make you act dirty. You're going to get attacked, and it's their fault. What the hell's going on? Yeah. Please do something. Can you give me a receipt, a field receipt? Even if, I know this is a bit, but it's it's with specificity. The, the last time when I got a receipt here, we were sort of trapped in a not not the best way we could have been treated because we love the community. Yeah. But um, the field receipt was written out very in poor manner because there was another gentleman here with another lady, and she was obviously an early uh, new officer or whatever. And it just seemed I didn't want to put her under pressure anyway, so if you could just give me a field receipt with, yeah, no, that, no, specific, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, with that specificity on there so that it describes the document. We can't just have a document saying, I'll receive the document, right, 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 does it? It's not. Yeah, That's okay. We, we run, run I know, I know, I know, we get it, we get it. We used to be angry at the place, I used to be, but then I looked at it and go, oh, that's why. They're all caught with their money. Yeah. You got a workplace contract with that kangaroo in India. That's a problem, but we don't have any contract with it. No one, you got 23 million people voting in pencil for a corporation, that Australian government, we don't have shares in But you got one single share in the government of the Commonwealth of Australia, standing on the land of the Crown under that line of the Unicorn. So how is he issuing judgments with that and saying that when that constitution says that it's a No, but look, I used to run four or five hour, eight, six hour arguments against judges, right? I, I know, I know, and, and I, I know you've had to write these documents with something to do with you actually. I, 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 yeah. So, so for, um, for me, I want to save you. I'm here. We're here to save you guys. And yes. if you just get one station to break from the theme and say, right, did you ever look at those 60 officers from the 70, post, 70 officers? Cops are totally treating yes. South Wales. They all came forward. Yeah, and you look at not a lot of them have been put on holidays. We know that that's what's going to happen to you. But if you group up enough, 
you got to go however hard it is for you to do. I don't know. Well, we don't. You've got to look after your family at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. We don't they're, want... they're the first people that people are going to come after you when the people stand up. They're going to be coming straight at you guys. Yeah. And then it just results. Yeah, I know. No, but you personally just can decide what you want to do. Hang on, only one person spoke. You can decide what you want to do, though. Thank you so much. Have you guys ever watched the Nuremberg trials? You should watch that because what happens is all those people in that war that followed orders. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm happy for you to photocopy and staple that to it if it makes it easier. Alright, thank you. It's a receipt. It's a receipt. I was to hypothetically come in here and do something new for me charge me. And then what I do is I, I, I um, subpoena 2,000 of my witnesses and the, what, the 20,000 powers of attorney I've got in wet blowing signatures. They're on 120,000 powers of attorney to administer the state. So then I get them and I run that into a Supreme Court case and I ruin the whole system. And I ruin everybody that didn't well, do anything. Well, whatever. It's going to happen. 
hundred percent it's going to happen. Well, the only way it can't happen is if you con continue your criminal activity. Well, it's not scrap stuff. It's not keep pushing. You keep pushing. Shut up, please, please. Don't say anything. No, you're you're in yeah. full blown malfeasance of office, and it's provable before any jury any time. Now, what's happened with the um, the courts? And I can tell you how your family and everybody's been railroaded. And that is that the civil jurisdiction has no jury, so you've got to start changing the court. Yeah, there's two copies of the same document. Oh, my apologies. Oh, I just did two copies. Yeah, yeah. So this will be, yeah, this will be the second document. Are we going to enforce mask here? This is what we ask for. Are you going to enforce mask here? No, look, this is what we get. We get book pages that are the acceptance of the law. What does section 85 matter of the criminal code say? Now, you know you're supposed to be a police officer. Why would a yardsman like me have to describe the criminal code act to you? Because I do know it word by word. Okay, so what is the law of section 80.1? No, 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 that doesn't work, mate. Right. You're in front of the problem. I've got a gun. You're in front of the problem. We've got to come and get you. So it's not, that, that's how it is. Well, in the end, why don't you criminally charge me? Why don't you criminally charge me so I can tell the jury what you criminally did? Why don't you criminally charge me so I can tell the jury what you did? You're not listening to us. You're not listening to the common sense. I'm finished with you. You're I'll give just it like to you. You're trained well. Yeah, you're trained well. What are you going to pine well. gap and get the mind virus? Who did you swear your oath to? Did you swear an oath or yeah, did you swear an oath? Yeah, you're queen of, of Australia. You're queen of Australia. No, you didn't swear an oath to become a cop. You didn't swear an oath to have a job. You didn't swear an oath to become a cop. Well, then what are you doing? No one did. Hang on. No, 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 no. You didn't swear an oath. You told me to stop. And then you just said no. Right, come on, let's go. Let's thank go. You. Just, thank you. Okay. No, 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 thank you. All right, baby. Get off the land of the crown. You didn't swear an oath. Get off the land of the crown. You're in malfeasance of office. You're in malfeasance of office. You're in malfeasance of office. You didn't swear an oath. You're a pedophile protector. You don't know how many children you have. You don't know how many children you have. You don't know how many children you have. Read it. Yeah. Has, 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 has,